Welcome everybody. Today I will introduce you my new homemade UV exposure box for PCB production. This box is able to produce a double side PCB with a good precision. The wire width can down to 0.1 millimeter. This uh, box is made with wood and the outside is painted with black color. Now uh, let's move to the right and check this out. In front of us we have the control panel. We can supervise and control the UV box. Here in the top we have the on off button. Next uh, we have the on off LED. Above we uh, have four indicator LED and two segment display, one for the top and the other for the bottom. Next we have uh, a keyboard to choose the necessary time for each side. In the right we have the reset push button. And last we have uh, the switch. This one allow us uh, to select one side. And now we open uh, and check the inside. As you can see we have uh, in total 8 UV lamp, 4 in each side. Each lamp consume 8 watt. And uh, here we have two fans inside the box to evacuate the hot air to the exterior. Here uh, we put uh, a PCB inside a transparency layout and uh, we put above uh, them a heavy uh, glasses. Uh, this uh, heavy glasses aim to remove the uh, air in place between the uh, transparency layout and the PCB. The reason why I use uh, two uh, different timer for each side is because the UV light uh, received from each side is not equal. This is due of the difference uh, of thickness uh, of both the glasses. Uh, you may uh, notice in the top uh, uh, the heavy glasses uh, is about uh, 10 millimeter width and uh, the width of uh, the bottom is about 4 millimeter. And now let's move on inside the box and see the electronic stuff. So here we are inside the box. Uh, as you can see, we remove the control panel uh, and all connection. Next uh, to us, we have uh, the uh, electronic stuff to uh, control and supply all the UV boxes. Here we have uh, the uh, 220 AC volt coming from uh, outside from the power cable. Next, uh, we have the uh, the step down transformer 220 to 12 AC voltage then uh, the bridge uh, rectifier and uh, next we have uh, the power supply circuit allow us to obtain 12 and 5 DC voltage the circuit include three capacitor and two positive voltage regulator one for the 12 voltage in the other for 5 voltage. The circuit provides about uh, 600 milliamps to the main board, relay, fans and segment display in the, all the UV boxes. The reason why I added a heat sink here is to dissipate the heat into the surrounding air. This uh, heat uh, sink I pick it from uh, an old computer. And now let's move on to the main PCB board, uh, which is responsible for uh, the uh, control and supervise all the UV box. This board is homemade and driven by a microchip microcontroller running at 20 megahertz. I use an assembly programming language for uh, this microcontroller. And now let's move on to the relay. Here we have two relay to control the electronic ballast which is uh, below. 
we will see them later in this video. They are two relay, one for the top and the other for the bottom. Finally, here we have two wire supply. These wires are intended to supply the fans. And now let's move the stuff and see below. Here we are in the bottom of the box. We found here four electronic ballasts. Each one of these ballasts supply two UV uh, little lamps. The ballasts have enough uh, power to provide energy for two little UV lamps. From this terminal block provide the 220 voltage to the ballast coming from uh, the relay. The ballast output goes directly to the UV lamps. Here we can see the circuit that uh, the wire takes to reach the UV lamps using uh, the wire duct. Thus we finish our general overview for the UV box. Now let's turn it on and try it. Now we plug in the power cable and let's turn on the machine. Here the switch which allow us to choose between the top and the bottom side. We're gonna put 6 seconds for the bottom side and 4 seconds for the top side. Then we click in on the hashtag in the keyboard to turn on the lamps. Now all the UV lamps are on. As you can see the machine works fine. Let's take a look of one of my realization with the UV machine box. As you can see it's a good final quality. The, mi the minimum wire width on this PCB is 0.3 millimeter. I've made a PCP using this UV box with a wire width down to 0.1 millimeter and it's work fine. It's all depend on the PCB quality. Okay, that's all about my homemade UV machine. If you want more information about this UV box, please visit my website and go to the UV exposure unit section and you can find more information. If you want to see how to hack a hard drive disk brushes motor click on the right top corner don't forget to subscribe and thank for watching